My name is Sean Fontino, but everybody know me in the streets as Solo. Sean, I just Solo! Everybody got love for Big Solo, man. Solo was the nigga! Watts, man, from LA. And um, well, I'm currently the video game actor for Grand Theft Auto V. I play the character Franklin. Fuck you, bitch! Oh, you trying to roll on me, fool? You can't read all the assets of a dead man, big sitting cheap asshole. Well, from a teenager, man, you know, I was I was a rebellious little dude, man. At that time, when I was living with my grandmother, I was from a neighborhood around here called Neighborhood Crips. I got into the streets, man. You know, I was young. I was probably like 12. But you can pull a lot over on your grandmother and your grandparents than you could over on your parents. A little bit of trouble when they're young. Well, you know, we lived through all of the trouble part of it. I can honestly say that. I know what it feel like to be on both sides of the gun, homie. You know what I'm saying? That's what I went through in my life, man. From coming from selling drugs and gang banging, being in the worst shit in my life. Well, I so ca I call it hell. Los Angeles approach control. This is Cessna 0281 Echo 119.3. Over. Cessna 81 Echo. Roger. I was classified at that era as a uh, a ball. Yeah, yeah, they all. Everything. You know what you got. Y'all know. Birds, 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 money, lows, SS and Pilots. Now this right here is the house I grew up in, man. 374. It look a lot better than what we had, man. You know what I'm saying? When the bullshit came, man, when this is where it came from. Before that, man, you know, I was just a normal little kid. Just crazy, man. I got so many memories right there, man, selling crack. Shootouts, motherfucker try to kick the dough in on me and my moms and my sister. A lot of shit came from this house to that house, man. We used to stand out with guns right there, guns right here when motherfuckers come up the street. Major shootout, man. Non stop, dude. You ain't nothing but a punk. I got Young Melee, man. Y'all know who Young Melee is, man. The world know who this motherfucker is, man. That's the nigga, man. Tell him who you is, nigga. CJ from San Andreas. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up, CJ? Live and direct. CJ and Franklin up in this motherfucker. Real life shit, though. I was fucking up over here, too, as a young dude. But I got up into my age right here. This was with me and Cam, the rapper, man. An incident happened with me and Ice Cube. They give us guns and drugs. They wonder why you fuck with thugs. Me and Q been knowing each other like tight friends. We done did so much shit together, man. We done been in studios time in and time out. I ran into him one day, man, and him and Cam was having a beef. I kind of like, hey, hey, homie, you know, you got a problem with my motherfucking homie? And he like, nigga, you know what it is, solo, man. He jumped out the car, man, and we got down, man. Knocked him down, knocked him out, woke him back up, whooped on his ass. Somehow his chain fell in my hand. I don't know how I got in my hand, but. It fell in my hand. That Westside connection chain is what amped the shit up so fucking far. And I start saying, well, fuck it then. That's why everybody want to take it. I'm going to sell the motherfucker back to the dude. You know, he can have the motherfucker back, but he got to pay for it. That's just the street rules. And Cube knew it, and Mac-10 then knew it. So what ended up happening, we worked out some shit. Motherfucker chain got back to him. Me and him squashed all our shit. Damn, the homie Cam back on the scene. With the brown and black on the same team The rap game seems so messed up If a real G ever got in, I know he stressed up Every drug dealer, robber, jacker, illegal nigga dream, man Is to get into the music game I was trying to get out of the streets and get into the music business I ran into Pooh, I was always hearing about DJ Pooh, man You know, he was a DJ, man And he was getting down with Uncle Jam on me He was putting his work in, he was making his name big, you know what I'm saying? Me and him met at the studio, he was a skinny dude, man After that, me and that dude was like stuck together Anything he had, he'd call me up whether I can do it or don't He'd at least give us a try, you know, he'd give me a try He'd call me, solo, come through, come do this Turns and on we're gonna move quick, and we're gonna keep cool. My job, my score, get your own! When I got this job, it was unexpected. DJ Pooh called me, man, and just come through, come read. When I went up there to go read for it, I didn't know what it was. It was some other name on there. And I said, man, it's for a 23, 22-year-old dude, man. I'm seeing all these young dudes in line reading for this character. I'm like, man, I ain't got this, man. This ain't for me, man. But I still went and did it. I just was being a real me when I read the line. So you giving me a lecture about not being a good enough game bank. Two weeks after that, they got called me back for another reason. And two weeks after that shit, December time, man, three years ago, they was calling me talking about, hey, how would you feel to be in a video game? Sounding more and more like a snee eye itch every day. Tell them this is 
celebration. So when they hand me the script, and I start getting bits and pieces of the script of my character, Franklin, it's like, damn, man, did they research me? But the comparisons of that story and my story, and they seem like they go just like this, like they woven in perfect. Don't nobody want to stay in the condition they're in when they're in a bad condition. That's the whole thing is to try to do better in that bad position to get out and make a better position for yourself. So that's the Franklin role, man. Franklin is, it's, it's, it felt just like me I'm trying to find my way to heaven, you know, to a better place to get up out of the bullshit, climb up out of the, the roughness of it. And that's what Franklin's doing, man. I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. People call us voice actors. We're beyond voice actors, man. This is my, I stress this strongly, man. We are performers. We are actors. We gave them characters life. We wasn't just sitting in the booth, reading the paper and watching the character do stuff. No, we had to work in a place, an environment like this. And we had to really perform everything that Franklin did in there, from punches to humping, to getting hit, to fighting, to driving, to jumping. I had to do everything. Some of the stuff I couldn't do, from jumping off the shit to a car or to a boat, a stuntman came in and did it. It was performance we had to give for them characters to come to life. My bad, homie. I picked C. Ain't that a bitch. You youngsters or you anybody, man, that's trying to do something, if you're trying to get into this, dealing with video games, voice acting, acting, anything, just keep doing it, keep doing it, man. Keep trying. You're gonna get your turn, because everybody get a turn at back. Whatever you're trying to do, just do it. If it works, it works. If it don't, it don't, man. You got just gotta remember, man, everything ain't gonna pan out the way you want it to. But when it do pan out, soak it in, man. Just soak it in and don't let it go. Once you catch it, try your best not to let it go. You know, I caught Grand Theft Auto, man. Come on, dude. That's I caught something that just did a billion dollars in three days. My voice, my likeness, my name is tied to a billion dollars. You know, I just want to shout out everybody that was in this, just went on this little ride with me, my family first. And the world star, man, for looking out for me, man, for coming out to the hood, man. Fucking with me, man, giving me a shout, man, giving me a chance to get on something that's broadcast to aliens. Feel real important, man. I really do, brother, and I appreciate it. You ain't got no respect. Well, I got respect for reality. Enjoy them holes, homie. Yeah, whatever.